So the magnets definitely work. The car's light enough to be held up by the magnets. One positive thing about electric vehicles is they do work upside down. That is completely useless in real life, but for a uh, RC car, it's gonna work pretty well. So we're gonna put some magnets on the wheels of the FMS Smash V2. I've got these magnets here. These are called earth magnets, and these are really, really strong magnets. So you gotta be really careful with these because I bought some thin ones from Amazon and most of the reviews said if you let them go together too hard, they completely shatter and explode. So we don't want that. Let's be careful with them. I put them in sets of twos. Maybe I should have bought another pack, but we're gonna have to go single rounds in the back, double on the front. You can see how I've got it in a square shape. That's pretty much the best it's gonna do. Let's put some on the front, some on the back. All right, I've just got this masking tape here. That's just to make sure they stay in place while we're driving up the walls and upside down. But that is the finished result. You can see it makes a very nice square shaped wheels. Now you've seen in our other video, square shaped wheels do work. These ones actually look like they'll work even better because if you see here, it almost basically just makes a clearance. You pretty much could do some turning with these too. So these aren't too bad. These wheels are really heavy with the magnets, but I'm liking the look. It looks pretty nice, but we're not here to see it looks good. We're gonna see if it's gonna drive literally upside down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Shit. <laughs> uh, the magnets were way too strong. We're gonna put some cardboard or something like that, maybe some cardboard probably, to lessen the effect of the magnets because otherwise we're literally gonna rip the diffs in half. So let's chuck some cardboard. Hopefully that fixes it. Upgrade the wheels. We got a layer of cardboard that should lessen the effect of the magnets so we don't break the diffs. Let's try again, round two. Um, I suppose this is the situation where you really do need circle wheels. I'll help it a bit. Go slow. Is that the slowest you can possibly go? Alright, try heel. Wait, that actually means I've got to go heel. Open up the garage. Definitely hold it. Just let me think. Yeah, yeah it's holding. It's all good. Okay. The back's a little weak, but try driving forwards a bit. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Got to get those uh, hot wheels on the hill. So the magnets definitely work. The car's light enough to be held up by the magnets, but the squares won't allow you to use it properly. Drive forwards right now. Refuse this to do the job we made it for, then we're gonna have to put it to work. So if I spill some screws, then I better pick them up. Pick that off. Yeah. Okay. There's make some good mud terrain ties. Pick those up, put them away.
Well, those are the magnet wheels. They're definitely powerful, definitely hold the car upside down, but because they're squares, they don't drive, but they do pick up screws. But I've got one more ideal. I'm gonna try just putting the rest of the magnets all on the front wheels in a more circular shape. Hopefully that will do the job of taking it up. Let's go try that right now. Stop flicking the screws around everywhere. Yeah. Do not floor it because they'll all sh shove together. Magnets as a round. That was a lot harder than it had to be because these things really want to stick together. Let's take this to a vertical surface and try the climb. Very slow acceleration. to the channel we've got more videos coming up more interesting stuff maybe a few more things with this car it looks like it hasn't broken yet so a bit more work to go with that if there's any sort of wheel ideas or anything like that or any cars you want us to look at let us know in the comments we'll see you in the next one